What's up guys? Let me guess. You're you're looking for that one shell so that you just can't find it. You, you know that it's probably super obvious and you're just not seeing it. I'm here to help you out. Don't worry. Don't fret. Sit back. Relax. Grab a coffee. Grab a beer. I, I mean, whatever you want. Um, and we're gonna we're gonna go through every single one of them. Um, don't feel bad if you miss one of them. I have missed so much stuff in this game that was super obvious that after I realized I missed it, um, I basically just wanted to crawl up into a ball and die. Um, but then I realized I'm playing a single player game, and the only one who uh, who, who saw me make that that mistake is my dog. And um, you know they don't judge. That's the best thing about dogs. They they just don't judge. Um, all right, so let's just jump right into this. Um, the first one you're gonna want to talk to this. This little shysty guy right here, this mole, uh, Monty Mole, um, and he's going to keep offering you different prices to buy um, the green shell stone, which he's going to just smack down on the table here like a, like a boss and really brag about the fact that he's got it. He's calling it the Miracle Orb, um, and it's a miracle that I ended up paying as much as I did for it because I'm pretty sure I could have haggled him down uh, more than that. Um, so he starts off at like 10,000 coins, which to be honest, you get so many coins in this game, you could probably buy it on the first one and be fine. But if you just keep saying don't buy, he's going to keep bringing the price down. I ended up caving at 2,000 coins. Um, I just, oh, where I bought it, I didn't want to didn't want to go through the whole process. I'd like to know how much I could have got him down to. Um, for all I know, you can get it for free, and then I'm really going to, oh, I won't regret it, because I, I think I have like 60,000 coins at the point of the game where I am. Um, they're not in short supply. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments how low you got him or how high, how much you paid. Um, uh, I paid 2,000. What did you pay? Uh... This bush here is gonna be moving when you're when you're walking around. Give it a smack, and there's gonna be a Goomba inside. Um, beat these guys, which are not too difficult. Don't worry. Um, and after you do, he's gonna send out a 1,000 fold arms little uh, um, glyph on the ground. I don't know what you wanna call these things. Um, and when you peel this thing down, you're gonna get a nice shiny yellow shellstone. Which does that not look green? They call it the yellow shellstone, but am, like, am I just colored? Let me know in the comments if I, I'm colorblind or uh, if this is just some weird lighting because it looks yellow on the top, but right there, I am seeing green. The image on the useful items is definitely yellow, so I don't know what's going on there. But either way, you get yourself a nice yellow slash green shellstone, and we'll move on to the third one, which if you go to these uh, this field of four toads here as your guide and head on down to the dock, there is a fishing mini game. Uh, that you can take part in. Uh, you'll see a few of these throughout the throughout the game. This won't be your last one. Um, so you can fish up uh, different items here, um, but the first one that you grab is this. For me, it was this fish at the back. I don't know if it's just automated that it, whatever your first catch is is going to be the shellstone. Um, but if in case it's not, the one at the back here is the one that I grabbed. Um, you're going to get into a battle with it after you beat uh, these little fishies into the ground. Um, he's going to spit out or explode into, I guess is the best way to say it, uh, the blue shellstone. Um, because blue matches water, and it, you found it down by the water. It, it all, it just makes so much sense. It's so, so beautifully crafted. Um, the last one, head on down to the left from Overlook Tower, and you're going to find these, these three son of a guns just playing soccer with the red shellstone. And all, you don't, you might think you need to go and attack them all. I think that's what I thought. I just started trying to take them down. Uh, you only, really only have to take down one, um, because then when he passes down, passes to the one that you took down, uh, and there's no one to receive the pass, and you're going to be able to snag the red shellstone. It even lets you know that uh, you intercepted it mid-pass in a soccer game. Um, so yeah, you don't have to actually fight these things now. You can. I think I did. I'm not going to show you the whole fight. Um, but you don't actually... You could just leave. Um, you have the shellstone now. Uh, so come on back to the Earth Temple. Uh, insert all four missing uh, shellstones, and you are on your way inside the Earth Temple. And that's how you find them all. Um, I hope this helped you out. I hope you, uh, if you were, you know, missing one for some reason or missing a step, that this helped you find it. Or if you came back, came around just to, just to have some fun and, and check out some of the secrets in this game, then I hope you had a good time with it. Um, there's plenty more Paper Mario content coming, and I already have some other ones out. Um, if you like this one, if you want to see more, if you want to lend your support, consider subscribing, uh, liking the, the video, leaving a comment, all, all that jazz. It, uh, it really does help. And otherwise, uh, I will see you on the next one. Thanks for watching, guys.